Max Kaiser. I need to spank you right now <laughs> in front of these fine folks. Leah Halpern. I got into Bitcoin. I was originally working as a journalist, and I mug many more. Are the billionaire in the next five years when you're out of this? They can't say shit. Oh, the <laughs> triple handshake, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All at BTC Miami 2023. This video is brought to you by BecauseBitcoin.com. Go check out Because Bitcoin for all cryptocurrency related news. Before we get into the meat of it and all the trouble the Because Bitcoin team got into. Oh, we're, we're trying to snipe somebody. <laughs> we're, trying to, we're, trying to find, we're trying to find one of these speakers and say what's up and, and get their opinions on where we're at. And Let's rewind back to the very beginning, day one. On day one, I was late to the party. I didn't arrive to Miami until the next day when the whole squad was already in Miami. Oh, man. Can I rescue you? I did. <laughs> when I arrived, I was treated by a very special surprise. Our CEO, Max, graciously rented out a 10,000 square foot mansion for the whole team to stay in. This place is absolutely massive. Right here's our garage. Down there's the laundromat. So right here's the kitchen. Absolutely just massive kitchen with, a, with an island. The living room, huge sofa. We all lounge around once we get back from the convention. This thing was the bee's knees had everything you could think of. Four flights of stairs, a huge kitchen, not one, but two rooftop balconies. Oh, and a pool that no one used because we were only two blocks away from the beach. Each room was kitted out with one of those fancy automated toilets. It honestly might've had AI built into it or something. There was even a touchscreen built onto the mirror to play Spotify and even order Amazon. Not that we ever ordered anything, but just that we could, that was pretty cool. For the first night, we spent time getting to know each other in person. It's one thing to talk to each other behind a Discord group chat, and another to see a few members in person that could break you in two. Seriously, some of these guys are built like tanks. We're talking 250 pound, 300 pound bodybuilders. After a long day, we were ready to have dinner. But once again, met with another surprise and a past life Will. Yes, V Will's Outlook was a certified chef. And I mean, Will treated us with a special dinner. <laughs> we'll make a food, man. What, what are you cooking? Steaks and uh, mashed potatoes and uh, asparagus and onions. And medium rare steaks, gourmet potatoes, and a side of asparagus. And that'll slow burn too, so that right there will be perfect. Wow, look at that wall. Jeez. When I tell you this has to be one of the best meals I've had in a while, you better believe it. By this point, I was ready for bed because the next day was, oh yeah, BTC Miami. Since BTC Miami was only a few blocks away from the Airbnb, we were all pumped, ready to attend the conference. We just got to the Miami Beach Convention Center, just checked into the conference. Really looking forward to meeting some other fellow Bitcoiners or crypto enthusiasts. Gonna go shake some hands, kiss some babies, and have a good time. We hit the floor. Right off the bat, the energy was palpable. You could feel it, almost taste it. The excitement, the frenzy of all these passionate people about crypto, all gathered under one roof. We started off interviewing a few projects. Can you just tell us what you do, man? All right, yeah. So we are Blockware Solutions. We have the new Blockware Marketplace, which is where you can buy and sell hosted ASICs. So it's a, it's a new new platform, really cool. Uh, check it out, marketplace.blockwaresolutions.com. I got into Bitcoin for freedom money. I found it's the only money that you can't create more of, right? Humans can spend an infinite amount of time, resources, energy, but you, can't only, you can only create 21 million Bitcoin. So I think that made Bitcoin really special. 
as the most unique monetary properties, most scarce, portable, durable, divisible, etc. I think it's just the best money humans have ever discovered. Then the mother of all whales landed on our lap, Max Kaiser. So without further ado, Max Kaiser. You know, that Max Kaiser, the former Wall Street stockbroker turned Bitcoin evangelist. Max and Max had a, a little chat, which I can only describe as electric. My name is Max too. Oh, hey Max. It's a good name. It's a great name. Yeah, hey. Only great people named Max. Some of the best. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm doing well. Um, how's it going for you? Are you having a good conference? Yeah, I am. We just got here. Really happy I got to meet you. What's yeah. your story? What are you doing here? So we're Because Bitcoin. We're a startup financial media company with a really heavy emphasis on digital assets. Right. Yeah, so we talk about Bitcoin, you know, some other crypto assets, but mainly Bitcoin, so here we are at the Bitcoin mainly conference. Mainly Bitcoin, it should be exclusively Bitcoin. It should be, right? You're not shitcoining, are you? Of course not. Do I have to take you over my knee and spank you right now <laughs> in front of these fine folks? I, I mean, they're very kinky, I know, and this is, uh, what city are They'd we get in? a kick out of it, Miami, yeah, they, they, they do Miami, that thing Miami, they here, do that right? all day long. They do that thing nothing. here. It could be a hard endorsement. I know, right? Anyway. Have you spoken yet? No, I just got here. What time are you and speaking I got at? separated from my group and I'm lost. I'm lost. You ever do? You I'm lost. Hey Max, do you ever do YouTube or Twitter content with other companies? We had a, for an interview or something like that. Well, I mean, it's got to be Bitcoin only, though. It sounds like you're, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, experimenting with the dark side. No, it, it's more of an educational thing. Like, here's what's out there. All money should flow back into Bitcoin. It's the only concrete property. It sounds dubious, but well, you should check it out. Nevertheless, I will check it out. I don't want to cast aspersions. Would you grab? You can check me out. Not knowing everything about it, but I have my feeling about it. But I will check it out. All right. You check us out. Because you can scan Bitcoin. that. You can scan that, or I guess just look us up. I'll look it up. All right. Cool, man. All right, Max. Great to meet you. All right, bro. Take care. So we just spoke with Max Kaiser. Max Kaiser is a bit of a legend in the Bitcoin space. He was an OG, a really early adopter. He's got some pretty awesome clips of him discussing Bitcoin with some high-profile individuals, and he truly was a pioneer and is a pioneer in the space for a lot of different reasons, and of course he's speaking at the Bitcoin conference. So I'm, I'm hoping that we can get him on the channel. He's a really entertaining guy, also very smart. He's great for Bitcoin altogether, so I'm really hoping we can connect after the conference and have him on to do YouTube and Twitter, but Max Kaiser, he, he's great. And of course his name is Max, just like me, so hey, maybe there's something to it. The evening rolled in, and with it came the event we'd all been looking forward to, Ben Cohen's party. It was a who's who of the crypto world. Everyone you could think of was there. We're talking BitBoy. My bit has been all over my nuts. They want to list it so bad they can stand it. Altcoin Daily, the whole crypto banter squad will financial. And of course, Ben Cohen himself. Max, how do you feel about day one today? I'm feeling really optimistic about it. I'm having a great time with the entire team. I'm also feeling really encouraged about building this brand. We're meeting a lot of really big names in the space. It's definitely inspiring having conversations with them. And they've all been super, super helpful. They're all really humble, more than willing to offer advice. And, and actually, I think we're gonna have some big names on our show. So really excited. Day one was a major success. Very excited for day two. It was a blast. The food was fantastic. And the sites, well, they were something else. Edward, you having a good time? I'm having a great time, man. Dr. Alpha, what's going on, baby? Hey, baby, meet up tomorrow, Saturday. Day two rolled around, was much like the first. Said we ended up driving instead of walking. We were tired from the day before. 
When we arrived to the venue, there were lots of interviews and booths. I'm Ian, co-founder of CoinRoutes. We have the most advanced algorithmic trading platform for crypto, whether you're trading spot, perps, CFI, and DeFi, we have it all. Uh, what's really been popular for our clients is our new spread trading algo, where you can actually make make on both sides of the trade with custom risk thresholds between the two so that you can get out if you need to. Uh, we basically give every small, medium, large size hedge fund the same tools that you know the biggest market makers would have to trade. Tucker actually had the grand idea to pick up a plastic leaf as a mic, and then we began to interview individuals. Make sure you get the leaf like right under their face. Right? We got to snag an interview with Blockchain Boy. 30 seconds. What do you love about Bitcoin? How'd you get into it? Actually, my mom in 20, uh, 2017 introduced me to it. It was about $1,000. I bought it, and then it doubled my money in a week, and I was hooked mm. instantly. Came for the gains, stayed for the tack, one might say, but I always got to shout at my mom. I think okay. Bitcoin is cool. I think we've gotten away from it a little bit, but it's still cool to have that libertarian, you know, my, my keys, my crypto, my money mindset. No one can tell me what I can or can't do with it. And, you know, we can gamble on all shit coins all day, but at the end of the day, Bitcoin is what started all of this, and we have to pay our respects to the king. All right, well, I appreciate it, man. For sure. Good to meet you. Good to meet you, too. Yeah. I think I ran into uh, one of your colleagues yesterday, actually. Yeah, with this guy over here? Yeah, yeah. what's up, brother? <laughs> among many others. Here's my AI mic. Right. Amazing. Amazing. All right. Amazing. Um, how'd you get into Bitcoin? Um, what do you love about it? 30 seconds. Hit it. Okay. Uh, I got, got into Bitcoin from a scam. I got scammed. I lost my money. I had 400 no. bucks left. <laughs> uh, just before that scam, I sold everything for that scam. So I was left with 400 bucks. I had to learn how to trade. Uh, I turned into a million dollars in about 12 to 14 months. Uh, I then got the opportunity to become a, a, an influencer or a teacher. And now we run one of the, the, the biggest TA schools in the world. The highlight of the day had to be when we ran into Leia Helpern. For those of you who aren't familiar, Leia's a prominent figure known for her Andrew Tate interviews among her strong opinions of Bitcoin. And let me tell you, she did not disappoint. Let's do a quick 30 second interview. We had a, the reason I asked, we had a little incident um, a couple of days ago. Sure. So we're not really doing any more pictures and videos anymore, unfortunately. Yeah. Hey, you and it looks good. You can, can video that. us. Yeah. Really being like, we're not going to mess with yeah. you. And if we do, then you can post this and be like, these guys are fucking ass. Who am I talking yeah. to? There's so You're many people. Yeah, I speak with you. What's your name? It's, I'm Tucker. Tucker, Tucker. nice to meet you. 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 Super simple, easy stuff. Let's do it. How did you get into Bitcoin? I got into Bitcoin. I was originally working as a journalist and I actually kind of fell into it. But as soon as I was exposed to it, I understood that it was decentralized, 21 million. And so I thought, wow, this has to be the future of money. And so that's what I love about it. Money that governments can't touch. Totally non-corruptible. Okay, okay. Last question. Price, 12 months. Where do you think we're going? Oh, okay. 12 months from now, 2024, we'll be at the halving. We could be at the same price we're at now. I wouldn't be surprised if we're at late 20s, moving towards 30s. Um, but I, I can give you a price prediction for 2025. Yeah, I'm looking at like, it, okay, it. not financial advice, but I would say $250,000, 2025. Oh, we love not financial that. advice. Not financial advice. DCA, be safe, don't do any crazy stuff. Yes, awesome. Well, thank you so much. Feeling accomplished, we wrapped day two, and we decided to hit the beach. As the BTC Miami convention came to a close, there are a few things worth noting. For one, is it worth it? Well, it is pricey. Here are the price tickets for next year's event. General admission starts at $299. I believe this is the one that we all ended up getting anyways. There is the industry pass and the whale pass. These are going to be for exclusive VIP lounges. But if you can afford it, I say go for it. This isn't just about Bitcoin. It's about the experience, the networking, and the people you'll meet. Two, the food, while admittedly maybe decent, it's definitely on the higher side. Seriously, think $20 for a slice of pizza and $10 for a water bottle. So if you're planning on coming, keep that in mind. Or go explore Miami. There's probably better options out there. Three, and most importantly, your convention experience is largely going to be what you make of it. It's up to you to put yourself out there, make connections, and just genuinely make the most of the opportunity. If you're willing to do that, you'll have a great time. After a good four days at Miami Beach, we had to wrap up the fun. 
all the boys said our final goodbyes. Love you, Take love. care, love you, man. And we set sail to the airport. Eventually, after a drooling seven hours, we flew into the sunset. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments section below. And as always, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for joining us for this wild ride. And stay tuned for more exciting content from us here at Because Bitcoin.